This week's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Ah, this is brilliant. Finally, I don't know how many years I've been coming to uh, Notch Hill in the noose. And we've never had fog in this area. And finally, uh, we have some fog and it really is lovely. It really does help the compositions along nicely. Just give some nice separation. I, I've, I'm rushing around trying to get as many photographs as I can because all these compositions that I've taken in the past and I thought, oh, if only if there was a little bit of fog and finally the fog's here. So I'm trying to remember which compositions I took and I'm running around and, and taking the same compositions. This being one of them, these uh, lovely Gary Oaks are quite twisted. And this one in the foreground has a really great uh, V groove on the top of it with some gnarly branches. And then there's some really great mossy covered uh, oaks in the background as well. But with this fog, they slowly get harder and harder to see less detail. So it gives it depth. And the problem I've always had with this, this composition is that beyond these oaks or beyond this little meadow, there's uh, quite a thick forest and it just makes it too busy. But now it's just a, a, a dark area with no detail. So it really helps it a lot. The part that I'm having a little bit of a hard time with is this Arbutus here. It has a nice shape to it, uh, but I don't want to include that because it just ends up being too much in the composition. And I kind of want to bring myself over to the, to the, the left here. Uh, but as soon as I do that, then some of these branches start intruding into the, into the frame. So I have to kind of bring myself back this way. It's suddenly got really dark, yeah, didn't it? Did. Did you see that? So what do you think, Brian? I like it. I, it's, it looks great. And to think that you've never been up here when it's been like that and we were on about it. Yeah. When we were up here last time, you said you've never seen fog in here, but today is just amazing. It's just... So um, I haven't really moved very far. Took this shot with this in the foreground and now I've moved on to this. And uh, actually the fog's lifted a little bit. It kind of comes in waves. Comes in waves, doesn't it? But I think hopefully it'll stick around for a bit longer. This is beautiful in here, but it suddenly just got really dark and blue. It did, it just dropped, didn't it? Got cold too. Do you feel a shiver? Maybe there's ghosts in the area. Maybe. Maybe it's haunted. Spooky wood. Oh, yeah, so, um, yeah, this is beautiful. This is really nice. Lots of lovely details and... You've got the different trees in there, haven't you? You've got the Arbutus and... Of course I set up and, you know... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> I, uh, I got some pretty decent shots already this morning, but this is kind of what I was after. Um, it's not, 
the composition is, isn't anything special, but the fog definitely does help with the separation in the background. So what I've decided to do, if I could just, I've decided to go for a really long pano, 65 by 24, and just have the, I guess half the tree, bottom half, and then the foggy background with the oaks in the background. And uh, yeah, I, th I think it looks really good. It, it's, you know, it's, it's more of an environmental portrait shot of, of this gnarly old tree. I mean, it's, it's the subject that I'm really interested in. And uh, it's, it doesn't look like it's gonna last much longer. Every time I come, there's a limb or two that have fallen off. So uh, I think it's, it stays unnumbered. Well, I haven't, uh, <laughs> I haven't moved very far from my last couple of photographs. I just kind of wander down the hill, maybe a hundred meters or so, and then back up again. I'm back to these oaks here. Just love this, um, this tree kind of arching and framing the oak behind it. I did take a photograph just to the left of there that I quite like as well. So. This seems to be the star of today. It, uh, yeah, there's some really, I just love the way that the, the oak here is arching over and then it frames the, the nice one in the background there. So I've had to kind of squeeze myself in between this little arbutus here because uh, if I get any closer, then I include quite a bit more of the sky. So I want to back up and use a slightly longer lens Four by five seems to work really well and a square format as well. Interesting. Now I can't take credit for this. Uh, Brian showed me this, or well, he showed me his composition, um, but it's a really interesting tree. And I think, I could be wrong, but last time I was up here, this branch was actually attached and it's since fallen off. So it makes somewhat of a, a neat uh, foreground because it tells a little bit of a story about this old uh, gnarly uh, oak tree. So what I've done is I've used this in the foreground and then we have the, the stump in the background, which is quite interesting. And of course, with a little bit of fog, which is still sticking around really well, uh, it just, uh, it just uh, eliminates some of that busyness in the background. So I'll show you what I have here and, uh, and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll work out well. All right, so this is the composition that I have. And uh, I guess this is, uh, this is 16 by nine, I'll probably do it by three by two, but I'm just thinking I might do a square or a four by five in a vertical as well. So when I show the final image that this might change. Um, but some of the things, some of the things that I'm really trying to be conscious of are, so we have this branch coming down here and we have this branch here but I want to make sure that this isn't uh, overlapping this little branch here. 
you can see that or this dead fall we have a log back here that kind of fills that gap but i'm not sure if i really need that and then of course we have the uh, the main tree kind of slotted in there slightly so what i've done is i've got reasonably close to this foreground here uh, with a relatively wide angle lens i'm using a 32 millimeter and like i said i might make that into a square i think that would work as well um, i don't really want to include too much of the sky because if we go up here we can go up a little way but it starts to get pretty bright i don't know it's hard to judge sometimes you can get away with white sky like that if you um, brighten it around that white patch there but uh, anyway this is kind of what I have right now uh, it's a little messy with the grasses and everything but uh, I, I do like the foreground it works really well This is interesting because the the composition that I was showing you before, um, Brian was here and he, he showed me it and said, well, you know, go ahead and photograph it. And I gave it a go and he was really excited about it. And I wasn't quite as excited about it as he was. So I took the shot and uh, now I've come to the other side and uh, I really like this composition. I, I like it much more than looking the other way. And the reason being is that you're able to get a bit more separation between the background and the foreground because the, the forest in these foreground elements is quite a bit further back. And I just love the shapes and the, and the, and the way that these two logs here or this big branch uh, has a gap in there and it leads you to this, this uh, gary oak here, which is quite small, but it has a really nice shape to it. So. I really love uh, some of the elements in this uh, in this shot. It also has these grasses that kind of lead you into the frame towards or down the hill towards that tree as well. So I like that. So I'll show you the composition. Uh, I think I think it's going to work. So what I like about this is I like the shape of the tree and of course the this branch going filling this side of the frame and this branch coming down kind of coming diagonally out to the corner here. Now I've made sure that I've blocked it off at this end so there's no gap for you to kind of sneak around when you're viewing this. The only way to this tree is through this gap here and you have the grasses leading you in and of course the fog in here. Something else that I try to keep an eye on, uh, you'll see that there's some little branches up in here. I didn't want those to um, converge with this foreground uh, limb uh, just so you're not getting confused about well, what's going on there whoops and uh, that's that's about it I also love these three little trees in the background here so they kind of fill that empty space just a little bit so on the back of the camera I, I, re I really like it and I hope it works out because uh, it has a really nice ethereal feel to it and the foreground is, is really interesting. Once again, I'd like to thank Squarespace for supporting my channel and sponsoring this week's video. One of my favorite features of a Squarespace website is the ability to quickly and efficiently update a gallery or page either from a desktop computer or while on the fly using the Squarespace app from my mobile device. 
Loading multiple images onto a page is quick and offers the ability to change a design or page quickly and elegantly without any coding knowledge. Want to sell your products? No problem. Setting up shop is also quick and intuitive. Sound interesting? Why not head over to squarespace.com and try it for free? And if you like what you find, use the code Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. <laughs> so we just I just recorded the ending and the, you know it went really well and I guess I didn't turn the camera on, so now we have to do it over again. So it doesn't sound quite the same. <laughs> uh, what were we saying, Brian? Oh, right. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So um, the last <laughs> the last couple of days have been really good, haven't they? Oh, it's been brilliant. Really has. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah. Yesterday was really good, and then we were going to stay, but it was quite cold, and uh, we were a little bit wet. We kind of, we, we, we bailed out basically and came back home to Parksville, but we didn't leave until about eight o'clock and uh, we got back home around 10 or 11. And of course then we didn't go to bed until about two. So I haven't eaten since, uh, well, we had a couple of snacks, I guess, on the way yeah, home. Yeah, when we got back. So yeah, anyway, I, I'm feeling pretty bad. So I think I've, it's two o'clock in the afternoon now. So I'm pretty much done for the day. But it's been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, you know, you've been here a lot before and you said you'd never seen fog in this area. And to see it today, it's still early afternoon, it's still coming in, so it's it's been a playground today. You it know, has. It's been nice like, to have a look around. Yeah, and yes, yesterday was really good as well. And then, um, yeah, today, like, I'm not sure if my shots are going to be any good, but... Um, it's also it's, it's a lot of fun when you get the conditions that you're really wishing. And I've been coming up here for quite some time now and I've never had fog down this low. And actually Gavin and Amanda just arrived. Um, and you know, Gavin's been coming here for quite some time as well. I, I don't think he's ever had fog down this low either. So it's a nice treat. And it just makes photography so much more fun when you get the conditions. That it you're... makes it easier in here because it is, you know, it is chaotic, it's busy. It's... Yeah, actually, I just noticed the fog's just it's starting just to starting to lift, isn't it? Lift now, yeah. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the the videos. Uh, uh, we really enjoyed putting them together. Uh, if you did enjoy them, please be sure to give me a, the old thumbs up. That's much appreciated. And if you have any comments about the videos, that's always appreciated as well. So thank you ever so much. And uh, don't forget to check out Brian's channel. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, if you're really bored. <laughs> and uh, and um, yeah, so thank you ever so much. And uh, until next time, bye for now. Bye bye. All right. That wasn't as good as the first it one. It wasn't, no. But anyway, whatever. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's awful now, isn't it? Gone.